Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and it is time to cook dinner. It is Saturday and I'm going to go ahead and fix spaghetti for the family. I don't think, no, I haven't cooked spaghetti on my channel yet. But anyway, if I have, okay, anyway. All right, and I have my Publix Chuck ground beef. I have my Barilla, Barilla traditional spaghetti sauce. And I have my garlic bread. And I have my Barilla spaghetti noodles. So, that's it, y'all. Y'all know spaghetti. It ain't too hard. So, anyway, all right, let's go. Let's get to cooking. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got my beef all nice and brown. Got my noodles cooking over here. They are almost done. My spaghetti noodles, they are almost finished. All right, so you guys see I've got my beef all nice and brown. Yep, you guys can see good. All right. So, let's go ahead and get our sauce in there. Our traditional, Barilla traditional sauce. I just pour a little bit at a time to see what I need. You see here. And I've got my heat turned down, of course. Cut it down a little bit more. Get that mixed in. We like the traditional. I like the garlic too and all the other flavors, but the girls, they seem to like the traditional more, so. Traditional is good. Y'all know I'm always adding something. I'm gonna add a little bit more. bit more spaghetti sauce. Let's get our noodles off back here because those noodles look like they're all nice and done. Those noodles are nice and done. Let's get back to our sauce here. And I, I don't like my sauce too saucy, you know, like really, really wet. So, all right, so we've got our spaghetti sauce in there. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do the whole jar. Whole jar in there. Put a little water in my jar to make sure I get all my spaghetti sauce. Okay, we got all our spaghetti sauce. All right, that looks good. Yeah, the whole jar, that looks good. I like the Barilla sauce. I like Barilla, I like Ragu. Um, I like the Publix sauce too, the Publix sauce is good. All right, now, what I'm also gonna do, do guys, I'm gonna add the Newman's marinara. You guys know I usually add this when I'm dealing with spaghetti sauce. Just a little bit of marinara in there. Just to give it like more of an Italian flavor, you know? Give it more of an Italian taste. That, that's just what I tell myself. That's just what I tell myself. You know, it gives it, you guys know how marinara tastes. It just gives it a little, you know, more of a Italian sauce. More of a, you know, just gives it an extra extra flavor extra taste it's just what it does and you know what also it thickens it up too because you guys know marinara is thick so it thickens up your sauce too helps thicken up your sauce so your sauce isn't so watery now some people use tomato paste but i use the uh, marinara and the marinara thickens it up just fine and gives you that flavor let me taste it Oh my god, oh my god, that is amazing. Amazing. And you guys know, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of sugar. Just a little bit. That sugar takes that bitter tomato, taste that, it takes the sting of the tomato out. So, you know, kind of blends it out and 
sweetens it at the same time. Because you guys know how tomato can be. Tomato can be so tart and so bitter. So you add a little sugar just to even things out. Some people do, some people don't. I do. So get that all mixed up. Let me taste it. Oh yeah. Mm, 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 mm. That is amazing. With that marinara. Oh, you can taste that marinara. Mm. Alright. My sauce is done. Y'all know I'm adding my parsley to my sauce. Alright. Get my parsley all mixed up in there. Mix it all nice and pretty. Oh, nice and pretty. I think I'm going to create some uh, pink parsley. Y'all know I love pink, so. I don't know. Parsley should be pink, too. We should have options. All right. Anyway. All right. That's the sauce. Let's get over here to these noodles. See what's going on with our noodles. Our noodles are done. Noodles are done. Let me see. Let me drain my noodles. You guys stay right there and look at that. that uh, spaghetti and it's sauce. Get our noodles drained over here. Show you those show you those noodles in a minute all right so we got our noodles everything's done i'm gonna put my garlic bread in the oven for 18 minutes it says put that timer on 18 minutes all right we got timer on 18 minutes okay all right so we got our spaghetti sauce all nice and dip up for you guys. We got our noodles over here. Nothing fancy, y'all. Just noodles. I added a little salt. And y'all already know the star of the show. And the parsley in the noodles. Yes, I am. Yes, 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 yes. So, take y'all to those noodles. We zoom y'all in. Yes. Those noodles. I add a little salt. That's it. Um, sometimes I add a little oil, but I didn't this time. All right, let's get y'all in there. Yep, noodles are already done. I got the garlic bread in the oven. And that's it, guys. I normally just add a little marinara sauce to my spaghetti sauce. Uh, parsley, a little salt, a little pepper. You know, season it up however you want to season it up. I got the garlic bread in the oven, guys. So spaghetti's done. I love spaghetti. It's quick and simple. That's right up my alley. All right, guys. That's it. Y'all saw me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, guys. As usual, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.